Alright, so in this video of Salesforce Bytes, we'll talk about how to use a case function in formula fields, right? So case function is nothing but switch case, a simple switch case. So you might have nested if and else conditions and based on a specific parameterized value, you want to set another fields value, right? So let's take a look at our first use case before heading into the function. So the first use case is based on the country of the account owner, set the account currency field as these values right so if the country of the account owner is japan uh, field should be set as yen and so on and so forth right so we have three conditions here and for everything else which does not support or satisfy this particular these criteria you need to re you know uh, leave the field as blank right so first of all let's go ahead into the account object and create an account currency field right so let's go to our browser and let's go to accounts and let's edit this object so I want to create an currency field, right? So let's call it account currency. So I'll go to fields and relationships, new. And let's call it a formula field, right? I need to create this as a formula. I click on next and this should be called account currency, right? Now what should be the return type of this uh, field? It should basically be nothing but text. Right? You can either put this value or this value or this value or keep it blank. So I'll just set it as text. Right? Let's click on next. And now this opens up our formula field screen. And here you can either use the simple screen, but I would encourage you to go ahead and click on the advanced formula section that gives you a better space and better way of you know formulating your formula. Right? Now, what do we need to do? Based on the account owner's country, we need to assign currency. Right? So we need to use the case function here. So if I go to this particular section right here that opens up the functions, we have something that's called case. This function right here is what we are trying to talk about here. So if I just click on the insert selected function, this brings it brings up this particular template. Now what does this template look like? It says case followed by an expression based and there and a value, right? So now what does this say? This says that it checks an expression against a series of values. If the expression compares equal to any value, the corresponding result is returned, right? And if it is not equal to any of the values, the else result is returned, which means it will check something here. And based on whatever is returned, if this value matches, it will give this result. If this value matches, it will give this result. And if nothing matches, it will give you the else condition result, right? So if I were to segregate this, in separate lines, I would do it something like this. So case expression followed by value one, value two, value one, result one, value two, result two, and else result. All right. And in our case, we have three conditions. We have three values to compare with, and then we need to have an else condition, right? So this is how our case function would look like. But how do we formulate this expression? Let's take a look at our use case one more time. So it says based on the country of the account owner, right so how do we find out the country of the account owner that should be our expression right so let's leave this placeholder as account owners country right and based on this value we should have value one result one value two result two value three is result three or else it should be set as blank right that's our use case so i'll just set this as blank a single string empty string Right. So what, what is value one and result one? It is nothing but if it is Japan, it should be set as yen. So let's go back and let's set this value as Japan. And if this is the value, the result should be yen. Right. And let me set the same thing for the other two values also. So let's say if it is Australia, this should be a USD. If it is United States, or let's just say us it should be usd right so my result and value are set only thing pen pending is the expression that i need to evaluate and that should be nothing but i need to check the account owner's country right so how do i find the country of the account owner i have to insert the account owner field first and extract the country information from that right so let's take a look at how to insert that field so let's click on insert and here I have account and here I have then option that's account owner right here, right? Now account owner is nothing but a lookup to user, right? So I can, which is why you see this arrow sign here that takes you to the user object. And here you can find a country field, this right here. So you can just click on insert and this is your expression. 
all right let me remove the placeholder and now let me just remove the extra spaces and click on comma now this looks like our case function so how would i read this case function i would say if based on the owner's country field value if the value is japan it should be set as yen the currency field if it is australia it should be this value if it is us it should be usd and if it is none of these options it should be set as blank all right let me include one more value that's for india so i'll just choose india here and i'll just say inr right now we have four values let's click on check syntax to understand whether the syntax we have written is correct or not so it says in green that no syntax errors which means our formula is correct right let's click on the next button and before clicking on the next button you have one more option here that says blank field handling now if the result uh, if the result corresponds to a blank you can either treat that blank field as a zero or as blanks but since this is a text function let's treat the blank fields as blanks right not zeros because it's not a number field let's click on next and let's make this field available for our system administrator profile at least so that we can see the changes if you notice since this is a formula field you are able to see that it is read only by default because you cannot make changes to a formula field right so let's make this visible for the system admin click on next and let's add it on our account layout this layout right here and let's click on save so our field has been created and it's a formula field which is using the case function right now let's go ahead and let's check first of all what is the country field value on the user object for my record right now the person who is logged in and my user is this user right here let's open this user and let's take a look at the country field right so the country says us let's me let me just change this to india right so i should get the inr currency coming out when i create the account record let's click on save on the user object and now let's create a account record with this this as the user as the owner let's click on new let's just say currency account one rating hot and let's leave everything as is and let's click on save okay i think i might need to set fifth some values so number of locations 25 let's click on save so as soon as i save my result let's look at the formula field population whether it worked or not so i should have some field that's called account currency which is right here and this is inr which means based on the account owner's country i got the result that says inr so this is how a case function works right you have different if else conditions and an and a condition that is apart from all those if else ladders and based on those based on an expression you need to set values to a field that's how you can use case fields case function right let's take a look at the second use case so that we are absolutely clear how to use case functions the second use case is calculate the tax lab rate for the opportunity based on the sic code now if the sic code is 1452 the rate should be 10% if SIC code is this value, it should be 15 or for any other case, it should be 25%. So this looks like we need to create a field that's called tax lab rate, which would be of the return type percentage, right? And it is dependent on the SIC code value, which means our expression will hold SIC code parameter, right? Let's go ahead and create this particular formula field on the opportunity object. Let's go to opportunities, click on edit object. And let's create a field that's called tax lab rate. So this would be a formula let's click on next tax slab rate and this would be a percent return type right and i'll leave the decimal as zero because we don't want we just want whole numbers so it opens up the advanced formula tab by default and i want to insert the case function first of all because it's an if else condition so i'll insert my case function and what should be my what should be my expression it should be based on the sic code so let's take a look at the sic code let's take a look at the sic code field so the sic code field is not present on the account opportunity object it is present on the account object right so we need to bring in the sic code from the account object which is why we need to go to the account and then find out the sic code function here so there's this field sic code let's insert this and what should this be this should be compared with different values right this is my expression now what should be the first value in concern the first value is nothing but 1452 right so let's bring in 1452 as the first value this should give me a re result as 10 percent so i'll just say 10 that's my first if condition the second one is if it is 1100 it should be 15 percent 
and the else condition is for everything else it should be 25 percent right and i can close the bracket and click on check syntax so it says no syntax errors in merge field right so i added a string literal here which should not be present because it's a percent so you don't need to you know treat it as a text field right and here we'll be treating blank fields as zeros because we are using the percent field let's click on next and make this field visible just for the system administrator for now let's click on next and add this on the account layout sorry opportunity layout let's click on save now our field has been created let's see if it is working as expected or not let's click on new and before creating on new let's take a look at an account that we want to consider so we have test account prospect let's take a look at the sic code so under sic code let's fill in a value that would be 1100 right so based on this value okay i think i need to populate the number of locations field so based on this value I should be getting the tax lab rate as what should be the value it should be 15 percent right let's see if, if if that works or not opportunities let's click on new and let's create a new opportunity op for tax lab rate closed it is somewhere in the future stages qualification and let's click on save right let's save it and once we save it let's take a look at the detail section and let's find out our value for tax lab rate tax lab rate is here which is 2500 percent so i believe we would have to enter 0 0.25 and 0 0.15 because it's a percent value right it's it's automatically multiplying it by 100 so that's fine our formula can be modified to 0 0.25 0 0.15 and it will give you the specific percent information right so that's how a case function works make sense I hope these two use cases made absolutely okay this is 25% so this is 2500 which means it has taken the rate as 25% right which means it is not 1100 so if I go back to my account oh this is because we did not populate an account na name at all right let's click on account and let's populate the test account prospect and now let's see what the tax lab rate, rate is let's click on save and now it is 1500 right cool so this should be set as 0 0.15 and 0 0.25 on the formula but now we understand right wh why it was showing 2500 and now since the ssc code on the test account prospect account is 1100 it is giving you the 15 percent yield rate all right so i hope we are absolutely clear on the case functions by these two use cases and that's all from this lecture of salesforce bytes thank you